Hey guys, SerpentX here. I uh, wanted to comment on uh, the scam that's going around. I believe it's called the Oh My God, um, Oh God, and ETH Largement Pill. Uh, it's there on GitHub and it's supposed to make your mega hashes uh, go up pretty high for, from my understanding, only graphics card that have the GDDR5X on it. Um, or, you know, that's the memory that's installed on those uh, cards, 1080, uh, 1080 Ti, and Titan. Um, and I don't think the Titan V because that's HBM2. But anyways, I wanted to, this is a screenshot from last night. When you open up the program, it says this uh, eat the largement pill. Pills are currently being served. Please keep this window open and we'll continue to dosing your cards as needed. And as you can see last night, I was getting around 48. Uh, mega hashes so bouncing between 46 to 49 almost roughly 50 some people can get better depending on the overclock on their video cards um, if I show you the next picture uh, when I plug in the information uh, it does boost up so here on the right hand side awesome miner shows that Ethereum with my current GPU profile every, every card's different so that's why you win awesome miner you benchmark your card and save it to your profile whether it's AMD or Nvidia well, uh, for Ethereum, I would only be making $1.71. And then for the other coins as well, uh, like Pearl, $1.53, Metaverse, $1.53, so on and so forth. Ethereum Classic, $1.54. So with the boost of this uh, program, and just disregard that error, I, that hash refinery, <clears throat> which I haven't been able to figure out. Uh, Pull.hashrefinery.com is down, but they're obviously still active. I, I'll do some research. I haven't really messed with that pool too much. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody else knows uh, what's going on, but you can mine it. You can mine on it still. I was just wondering why the stats have changed. I'll check it out in a little bit. Anyways, here's what I was getting last night. And of course, I ran it for 12 hours. And this is what I'm getting now. Uh, so 68 mega hashes calculated. And you know it gets fluctuated, you know. Uh, current calculated hash rate. So what you want to pay attention to is the average six hours um, And you can see there um, I haven't ran it for 24 hours I am going to do so because I want to test out because everybody's saying it's a scam It's a hoax it's a virus and, and a lot of antiviruses will kick back that it is um, But I, I started studying the services and the processes and what is it doing? What is it accessing? You know like I want to know you know, is it opening up any uh, UDP, UDP ports or TCP ports that I'm not aware of? Is it, is it sending information about my system? I don't know. Nobody, I don't think anybody knows about this, but I think it was just a group of guys or maybe just a single individual that uh, basically coded it and wanted to share it with the world, which is cool. Uh, you know, thank you for that. Um, but I did notice something. If you look at the, the actual program, look at the top. It says public edition limited to 1080, 1080 Ti, and Titan XP. Does that mean there's a private edition? And can you pay for it? And if you can, what does it boost? Does it boot your 10, you know, your 1066 gig, your 1070, maybe your 980 Ti? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know it's supposed to be limited to only these cards, but I wonder what this public edition will actually do for the other cards. And I might test that out and throw that in this video as well. If you don't see it, then I just didn't get to it or I didn't have time. Uh, but let me show you this real quick. Um, so here's the GitHub, and I'll put this in the link. And then here is a video Yay. from Son of a Tech talking about and he just did a recent video as well kind of talking about the fact that everybody's thinking it's a scam it's a hoax if you look on the right here you can actually see it so um that way so scam um what is it that's just gamers nexus there's a bunch of other videos but it's son of a tech just released another one yesterday talking about it so i would recommend those what's up son? Is it in the yeah here it is so um, I'll probably put it in the description, but <clears throat> here's the GitHub. You just basically download it, extract it to a folder, and then you just double click, run as administrator, and it'll open up this program or this window. Uh, it's a command window, and you leave it open while you're mining. And when you're mining, you're gonna get increased hash rate. Now, so far so good, because last night I was at 0.65% of my goal. And now I'm at 3.91. Probably if I refreshed it right now, it'll probably be a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure. 
Yeah, so 4, 420, good number. Um, so roughly almost 4% in, in a 12 hour time span. Um, that's not bad, that's not bad. So, but the question is, is it, is it reporting a fake hash rate? But it can't because otherwise I wouldn't have these funds if the shares weren't completed. And if we look at the shares, uh, you know, 14, 28, 28, 52. I don't see too many. I don't even think I can see. Can I not see rejected shares on here? Doesn't look so. Huh. So other, other like, uh, you know, Supernova and all that stuff, they, they show rejected shares. But anyways, this I'm going to be testing out for a while. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on this uh, particular uh, program. Uh, if you want to do your research, I would recommend doing so. I'm going to test it out and see what else is, is it doing. Because if it is malicious, it's going to be trying to access uh, certain rights, certain uh, you know files, permissions, opening ports, just doing some type of you know horrible things. And I want to make sure that if you get this, that you're not going to get in trouble. Son of a Tech is actually asking if anybody can look into it and dive into the code to make sure it's not malicious, to let him know. Um, I'm curious myself, so I will be keeping an eye on his channel and see what's going on. Uh, oh, apparently UFD Tech did one as well. So uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty decent improvement in performance. I went from 35 to almost 50. Um, so I will test it out. I will get back to you. I'm going to show you a little clip because I can't record too much and mine at the same time. Not on this system. I have I don't have an external. Um, capture card or I do but my my son is using it because he streams as well hey before I leave you guys I wanted to insert something here uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description as well for a gentleman uh, channel that's called JMS blogs and the the problem here is yes you get an increased hash rate but the shares don't really increase and the shares submitted is what turns into uh, an, a, a you know, better profit or a higher balance in your overall coin mining. So if the share submitted hasn't risen, but the hash rate has, what's happening is, is those shares are either getting rejected or going stale. So you're not going to increase your profit. Now, Awesome Miner did show uh, something, and I'll try to insert a clip somewhere, um, an increase in profit. I think in, in my normal GPU profile was showing like $1.71, $1.70. But when I was mining on Ethereum, it was saying 249, 250. And I think I have a screenshot of that. But I just wanted to let you know, it's all about the shares submitted. If that's not increasing, even though your hash rate's improved, you're not going to get more profit. So I'll let you guys go uh, with the rest of the video. Thank you. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. And if you think it's a scam or a hack, I'm sure you will voice your opinion, but I will be testing it out and I will comment as well on what my thoughts are and if it is accessing something it shouldn't be and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.